ignored my talking in the beginning. I forgot I could use this simple speech thing. So Roblox began to work again. I thought I would have a blast playing again, but I remembered afterwards that I hardly liked many games on the front page in the first place. Lumber Tycoon was always a great game. And then I saw the beta of a sequel, and it's very elaborate and not intricate. Sometimes it just takes long hours of hard work and that's boring sometimes. I found a way to keep it real. You will see that the game was slow. I assure you that the game is fast and my recording device has been quite unorthodox. You can also see I have already set up my little plot of land. Later in the video I extend the land pretty nicely. This game has a lot you can lay out for yourself. Those conveyors I had to set up by myself. Each conveyor is pretty expensive. I had to toil away at chopping trees for a while to get it like this. Before I could finish this tree, I saw in the chat box a scrub was wondering how to play this game. I had a proposition for him to work for me. The payment was fair. Obviously his job was to simply take wood and put it into the sawmill. It would drop into the box attachment for my car. I would go to sell the wood and he just keeps the supply going. I foresaw a profit. I forgot to add him to my whitelist which allows people to touch stuff I own or rightfully own from chopping or buying that thing. And this is where the process of being a robber baron began. I kind of feel like I was not paying him enough. I think I exploited him being a scrub. He thought $30 was a good amount of cash.
that person in the brown works for me later in the video. By that time my payments have actually become reasonable. If I want to expand, I'm gonna need more stuff to put my supplies. I decided to get my worker his own little trailer to drag around loads of wood. Soon enough I learn that the stores across the bridge have a closing and opening time. It was boring but I have patience.
Just as the store finally opens, I had noticed someone new came onto the server. I try to get their attention in the chat to hire them. Just as I got the trailer, he had apparently left the server. Luckily he left a good load over in the box. And then someone somehow puts me into a wild goose chase. What with this special axe everyone keeps talking about? I didn't like chopping trees so I followed suit into this adventure. By the end of it we bought a handful of sand in a bag, canned beans, and a light bulb. There is a red bird that marks something here but I didn't know it was a hatch. When he says get in the hatch I thought he typed that wrong and was actually trying to tell me to take cover. I didn't understand what this was for. When he opens the boxes that contain the beans, the bulb, and the bag of sand. He put them on the plates. This is the most unhealthy dinner I've ever been to.
Finally the guy who I said would work for me offers himself to me. I told him that I thought he wouldn't like the work I would give him. I was finally able to stack up some cash for some more land.
57 loads of wood later. I get a little power hungry and make arrangements to hire another person. I would not do this until I was sure a scrub has joined. Indeed a scrub was on. Thank you.